Oscar, man, I don't know if you guys can see them. Antonietta, Sabrina, Riccardo, and il nonno, Lorenzo. This is how Tedeschi began their business. There they are. Can you guys see them? The family with Antonietta, Sabrina, Riccardo, and Lorenzo. We are in La Fabriceria, one of the crews of uh, the Tedeschi family. I have a bottle with me already open a minute ago because you know this is a one sequence tasting. So there is, you see, there was not a drop that was uh, taken from the bottle. Uh, look at this. Sant'Ambrogio and Fumane. Uh, like, this is one of the few areas with a little bit of volcanic soil as well, but mainly it's calcareous, which gives the wine its super white soil, uh, lots of stones, but the important thing here is the active calcareous part, which hands over what we consider to be sapidity, almost salty bites in the wine. Uh, this is a very intense ruby, very bright color, so I'm expecting lots of acidity, but also very dense, very thick kind of color. In this case, I cracked open a bottle 2017, which is pretty hot, vintage. Whoa! Two years of Slavonian oak barrel, and then a couple of uh, six months of uh, the bottle aging. Um, what, what, what was it like? Uh, I was impressed, right? But you saw me going like, Whoosh, because that was power. Mainly power coming from the Corvina Corvinore Rondinella and a little bit of Oseleta, which is like a dark uh, indigenous variety in Valpolicella. Just 5% adds up color to the wine. Um, this is exactly what you expect from a, from a crew, from a great selection of Alpolicella, which is acidity and freshness. We are 450 meters above the sea level, but at the same time, super duper ripe, black, inky driven fruit with balsamic elements. There is lots of menthol here, dark chocolate, but not that one that comes from a Frenchly, see Frenchly, <laughs> freshly uh, toasted uh, barrel, French barrels but it's more like cocoa beans. So what else is there? I think right now what I'm feeling here is that I, lo I love to have some lamb, a nice capretto, actually capretto on the grill. That's what I would have this uh, Valpolicella with. Very, very intense. Now why do you have to wake me up? I know why, because you gotta have more tips, tricks, and you gotta have more love. So follow our social media, subscribe our channel, and let me go back to sleep with my beautiful red wine. Arrivederci.